All right, if you don't know, it's your boy DJ Las Vegas, Fleet DJ Canada, Fleet DJs, period. I'm here with your boy AOK, coming out of Cashville, Tennessee. But he lives in Atlanta right now, so I'm about to stop my talking and I'm going to let AOK, man, let, let, let the people them know who you are and whatnot. Hey, well, like the boy Vegas said, I'm the friendly neighborhood rap artist, A-OK, okay, and I'm straight out of Nashville, okay. And yeah, I have to touch down in the deep state to elevate my game, you know, I have to elevate and push myself to bigger and better levels. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I read in your EPK, you you love anime, comics, and video games. Um, what are some of your favorites, and what are you watching, playing, or reading right now? Uh, let's see. Well, current, well, not current, all-time favorite hero, all day, all day. <laughs> I always got to go with the wet head. Personally, uh, it's a chance between certain versions of Peter and, of course, Mouse. That was a good one. <laughs> um, currently watching is between Black Clover, um, just got done looking at the Jujutsu Kaiser movie. That's super lit. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, just got done seeing Doctor Strange for the second time. That was a hell of a ride, especially in 4D. I highly suggest it. <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm pretty much inspired by pretty much the majority of pop culture, whether it be from TV, comics, and all that different things around there. Um, also, fun fact about me, um, I don't know how this will come across. I don't know if there's any like people that think it or not, but I kind of like uh, true crime documentaries and stuff. I don't know what's wrong with that, but hey, I'm a, hey, I got layers. <laughs> I definitely dig true crime documentaries. I think they're very, very interesting, yo. Especially when they do those deep dives on certain things. Oh my God. Like you just wonder the mind state of some of these people, bro. Why? It's like, yo, it's crazy. How do you even get here? And you look at the childhood, I'm just like, damn, I think I was too, bro. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's up. So obviously this is a stupid question, but Marvel or DC? Obviously you're a spider webhead. Um, how important is implementing the things that you love in your music though? I feel it is very important, especially when I'm like presenting myself in a way that's not like authentic. Like authenticity is pretty much my whole bag. Like you hear some of these other artists out, or hear some of these other artists out, and they're pretty much talking about their lives or lives of others, and mostly just trying to put a persona out. I don't want to put a persona out. I want to put me out. Yeah, that's what's up. So, that's what's up. Keep, keep on. Just putting my yeah, yeah, you got to put out that persona. Um, being based out of Cashville, though, seeing guys like Young Buck become popular, um, what do you think you can take from his success or do differently to achieve your own success? Um, pretty much, as far as the, I wouldn't necessarily emulate his, his whole career now, but to achieve a certain piece of success that he achieved back in the day, it will pretty much just be consistency and putting out as not necessarily much material, but quality material as possible. Because majority of young bucks stuff, granted, hasn't really been the age for it. But hey, I'm still bumping Get Buck. I'm still bumping like straight out of Cashville, personally, one of my favorite hometown albums. <laughs> um, also got artists like Starlito out here doing their thing. They've been he's been doing his thing since I was in middle school. <laughs> See this man go from whole name change from one uh from the uh, all star to Starlito. I'm like, yo, it's lit, it's dope, especially coming up from the field. There's not that many of us hip hop artists out there, especially coming from there. Um, as far as being to do differently, um, I'll say just Watch the social media around you. Just make sure you keep the proper so people around you. If you don't, then we're pretty much going to just take from you, just continue to take from you until you ain't got nothing more to give or be. Um, drive you to a place that you don't want to be in. 
That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, how different is Atlanta from Castro in terms of like the pace of life? Um, the pace of life is a little faster here. Like it feels like the New York and South. <laughs> mm. Like it's, it's constant. Like everybody coming in here is constantly preaching. Please support other artists, support other business, black owned businesses, especially. Like always network, always be talking to people and everything. Like not necessarily finding, hey, who's going to give you the next thing, but more so just like you never know what this person could do or what you could do for them later on down the line because I'm a firm believer in energy sharing. Like if you just like if you get positive energy, I'll reciprocate that. Like person, if I always try to be with a positive foot forward, I don't want to just come out on somebody and have a chip on my shoulder the entire time that I know this person. If you put me on edge and I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna miss it all my But the pacing is a whole hell of a lot faster. Mm. Like they are more so comfortable with so they'll they're not necessarily within that circle. Like it's hard for a hip hop circle to work with you. Like if like because my career started off like in the beginning of COVID, like that that was the whole different mindset of okay, now how am I supposed to do this? And all the clubs were under the format are closed. Everything it is open mic, but the majority of the open mics are live instrumentation. So I can't plug on that. <laughs> no fans, I lost my songs, so I can learn them in time before we jump on stage. So I'm just like, hey, gotta move to gotta move to a bigger place. Like right? get the whole um small food big pond syndrome. So I want to be all I want to get bigger and better myself. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, you got low bandwidth and it's kind of hard to hear you, but we're still going to try and get through the interview as best as we can. You know what I'm saying? Um, one more question before we get into your song, though. Why not choose a place like Florida or Memphis or even like Miami? Why did you go to Atlanta instead of those other hubs? Um, because Atlanta, I feel like has its own vibe and its own sound compared to the other big hip hop uh, southern cities. Like, don't get me wrong, I do love Memphis music. I love Three Six Mafia. Oh, you know, God, It's just more so of um, I've been around in Tennessee too much, and I wanted to get a change of scenery, but more so something that's not too outside my element but just enough for me to be like, okay, I feel this is the place I can be at to actually grow. As far as in Miami is concerned, I did I did have a um, I did have a concert run down there uh, a couple months back in January and stuff. So that was that was definitely lit. Um but yeah honestly I just feel Atlanta was like more so a second home away from home because I do have a couple family members down there that do believe in a dream and yeah. Um, yeah. Much pushing, uh, yeah, nice, nice. Now, Atlanta always, even in Toronto back back in the days, my my manager always told me like, yeah, we need to get to Atlanta because Atlanta is where it's at, bro. Like, you know, and this was, was like before it even blew up, you know what I'm saying? But Atlanta is definitely a dope place. Um, let's talk about your new single, Jackie, which comes out on the 20th, which is tomorrow. Um, what inspired you to make this record right here? Um, pretty much what inspired me was I'm not gonna put it without getting the video for <laughs> Um, pretty much I a firm believer in competing against yourself. Like I wake up in the morning and try to think what can I do. That, what can I do different that is better than what I did yesterday? What can I write? What can I create to basically put my mindset into a, oh, I think I did top myself yesterday. Oh, yeah, I did get past myself, push past my limits, go past the wall. It's more so me against me and how I perceive myself as in a competitive sense because 
when I'm uh, when I'm writing, right, I jot like I jot the first thing that comes to mind. Like I took this drill from uh, a J. Cole interview that he did for um, some of his artists in Greenville. Pretty much, he had um, some of his artists just write constantly. So as you wake up in the morning, you got to write whatever the first thing in your head, you just get it out. And you just keep going, it ain't got to make sense. Yeah, it's going to suck because your mind's just woke up like you're trying to get that flow. It's like it's like an NBA player warming up uh, warming up the practice before that. So you always got to be on that constant uh, competitive tip with yourself. Uh, if you ain't pushing you, then what's the point? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, like you said, bro, like practice makes perfect, right? So... You got to practice the craft to get better at it, right? That's it. Let's get into this song right quick. I'm going to drop myself off the screen, and I'm going to have you introduce yourself again, and I'm going to have you introduce your new record. So give me one second. Let me pin you. Boom. Hey, you know who it is? This is your boy, A-OK, -OK, the friendly neighborhood rap artist, presenting my new single dropping late 20th on all streaming platforms. Jackie, get it. Yo, Vegas, your mic's on mute. <laughs> Thank you. I was, <laughs> I was saying that this song is so festival ready and the beat is crazy. You're technically rapping on this shit. Like, bro, and, yo, I was just saying like, yo, the energy is crazy. Like the first listen is okay. But when you hear it again, you're like, okay, he's saying something. And I'm sure it gets better and better and better after you keep listening to it. like, this is such a good record. It's a good follow-up for Lift Me High. Man, I love this record. Who, who made the beat, though? Um, it was a boy named Pharaoh the Ghost. He pretty much produced the majority of my stuff, like Lift Me High and Jackie and a couple other things that I might have coming out soon. I can't, I can't wait to hear that. Are you trying to drop, like, an a EP soon, or are you just going to go the single route to you catch fire? That's the thing, because I want to do the single round because the performances would be crazy. On the other hand, like, I EPs and I just put out the collection. You know what? It'll be surprised both be enemies. 
<laughs> right? Who knows? All right, man. So fuck, man. Jackie's coming out the twentieth. Um, video, video soon. This video will be dropping along with it tomorrow. So Ooh. definitely check out for that. Um, you can find the link in my bio and all my social media platforms at ayt underscore okay underscore okay. That's safe. I mean, I was just about to tell you, yo, fam. Like, make sure you let the people them know your socials. But you already did that. Um, I can't wait to see the video tomorrow. Um, hey, okay, bro. It's been a pleasure. Special shout out to Ash. More Ash. Kia. Kia's in the building. It's in the cut. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, at the end of the day, this concludes our interview. And with that being said, everybody, please keep your third eye open. It's dangerous on the world. Be safe. You know what I'm saying? And I want to thank you guys again. Number one entertainment, big shout out.